Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today I'm going to be showing you all of my current favourites and some flop products that I've tried. I've never done this bit before, but you know what? I thought it'd be interesting to see um, what products I've tried that I've just completely not liked. Uh, today's post notification shout out is going to go to Aaliyah Owls. Thank you so much for your sweet comment. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Now today's video is sponsored by Shoptago, which is one of my favorite apps to use when I'm online shopping. It really helps me to save some money, stay organized, and just keep on top of my online shopping game because I'm a massive impulse buyer. I like to buy things on the spot and they just either end up laying in my wardrobe or just laying in my makeup drawers. You don't understand how much stuff I've bought that I don't actually use. Because I'm able to save items to my dashboard through the app, I can go back and check on it and it, it notifies me when it goes in stock if it's not in stock or it also notifies me when it goes on sale so it's worth the wait guys if you can save some money on it right the worst thing i hate is when i buy an item and then a month later it's half the price how annoying is that guys and it's happened to me so many times but since i've been using shoptega it's really really helps me to just think before i buy certain things but also save some money because if you wait a bit it actually does go on sale now all you have to do is go to your google chrome browser search shoptega download the shoptega button to your browser and then you're ready to go ahead and browse your favorite online store let's say you're browsing and there's an item that you really like the shoptega button will pop out in the corner and this will give you the option to save your item to a specific wish list that you have so i have a, a bunch for like skincare makeup clothes i also have a black friday one i'm gonna do a christmas one as well and then you can just save them and into these wish lists and keep yourself organized and you don't have a bunch of products on your dashboard you can also choose to receive mobile push notifications once the item goes back in stock if it's not in stock at the time you're saving the item and shop taker can also notify you once the item goes on sale which is really really cool and handy if you're someone that likes to shop on your mobile phone you can also download the the Shoptega app and receive notifications that way and do your shopping like that and Shoptega will notify you by email or by mobile push notifications then once you go to your Shoptega dashboard you'll see all your wish lists and all the items that you've saved and it just creates a really organized plan of the things that you're interested in buying now my most favorite part of the app and is the part that I use a lot is once you go to your checkout with the products that you want to buy Shoptega will pop out again and it will tell you if it's found any codes on the internet to run through your your order and um, now i used to do this manually where i would literally search on google like coupon codes to try on my um checkout basket but it's a long process whilst shoptega literally runs a bunch that they found most times i've saved some money through this feature and i just love it it's so easy it takes a few minutes there's now also a new cashback feature where you can earn cash via paypal when you shop from select retail partners and now more than ever especially during these times it's important to get maximum value so yeah, I absolutely love Shoptaker. It's a great app to stay organized and also to save yourself some coin. I mean, who does not want to save some money, all right? And I feel like during these times, people are doing a lot of online shopping, right? We don't need most of the stuff we buy, like especially me, I don't know about you guys, but I just buy way too much. If you want to stay on top of your online shopping game and save yourself some money, make sure to check the link in the info box to download Shoptaker. Okay, let's jump straight to my favorites. Now, the first thing that I want to mention is the Urban Decay Stoned vibes palette this is such a nice pretty all-rounder kind of eyeshadow palette especially for festive seasons special occasions i'm wearing just the silver shade on on my lid and i'm really into that vibe especially when i was working on bobby brown i just love these sparkly shadows just to put all over my lid mascara a nice lip and then you're ready to go like i'm really into that and you also have a few matte deep shades as well if you want to like add a bit more definition to the crease um or do like a liner the packaging is so so stunning and you have such pretty shades i think my favorite is this green shade here um, but I'm wearing this one today. But you've just got so many options, honestly. I love this palette so much. And this would make a really, really nice gift for someone for Christmas as well. By the way, I know you guys might ask, but I'm wearing the Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in third date. Now, the next thing that I've been loving is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer in the shade Sand. Now, one of you guys, one of my subscribers, recommended this to me. And honestly, it's such a nice concealer. So flawless. It doesn't crease. 
and it's like the perfect shade for me as well but yeah i really wanted to put this in here because it's a nice concealer now the next palette that actually really surprised me and and is one that i really liked is the l'oreal skin paradise tinted water cream i have the shade medium 04 it's got SPF 20 and honestly this sits really nicely on the skin it's great for every day it's super lightweight it has a bit of a glow to it and the shade's really nice so yeah I just really really like it it's just perfect for my skin type which is really really dry um, and it's affordable so yeah if you can find your shade in this I definitely recommend it but they don't have that many shades which is annoying but if you can find a shade, it's a nice product. Oh my god, guys, the next one is actually a recent find, but it's the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in Orgasm. Now, this feels amazing. It, like, kind of leaves an oil, oily sheen on the lips, but it's, like, it doesn't just sit on top. It just, like, nourishes your lips. Like, this feels amazing. I actually saw that they have, like, a whole set, which would make an amazing gift for someone. Um, which I'll try and link in the info box, but all the shades look nice, but I really want to get the shade Laguna because I feel like I would really like that shade, but the packaging is so nice and it's just so, so lush. I don't know if I've put this in a favourites video, but the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes is like by far my go-to mascara at the moment. It's so nice. I've actually topped it on top of my Maybelline Lash Sensational, which is my drugstore favorite um, mascara. But this, these, I put this, uh, I put this on, but it was a bit dry. So then I ended up putting this on top, and it just, it's just. It never disappoints, guys. If you're looking for good mascara, like this is the one to have. I also have another Huda Beauty um, product. This is the Face Build and Buff. Uh, brush now you've got like a foundation blending bit but then you've got this tapered triangle bit which is so soft and it just fits perfectly under the eyes this is just perfect to blend your foundation and this like under your eyes if you want to put powder or use one side for your concealer and then another side for your powder it's just so nice this is like a good brush that i've been using a lot as you can tell but if you're looking for a good brush then this is one to have I can't do a favourites video without this product and it's the Huda Beauty Fa uh, Faux Filter Foundation Stick in the shade Dulce de Leche. I did a full review on this, but it's so nice guys. I love it. It's just perfect for my skin right now. It sits beautifully and it wears really well. It's just flawless and lightweight. I've actually used it quite a bit. It's great for every day. It's great for glam. It's just... It's just amazing guys i love this i literally don't know what huda beauty puts in her products but i literally love them so much it's like definitely products i would put money on you know it's so good another product that i've been obsessed with is this 20 pound hair waver i actually used it in today um my get ready with me video to create this look but it's not only do i love this hair look but this is really good for 20 pounds it's so affordable i'll try and link it in the info box for you guys but the temperature goes to 220 my me and my sister got this and we're just like really obsessed with it um only thing is it's like it's best to do it on one day old hair rather than doing it straight on fresh hair i love wavy hair guys i'm going through a phase where i'm just obsessed with it i don't know what it is but I feel like a lot of people are going through that phase at the moment, but it's just, especially when I do ponytails, like, let me show you guys, let me show you. When I do ponytails, it just looks so, like, voluminous and buns as well, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain, but it just gives so much oomph to my hair. So yeah, I'm really obsessed with this hair look, guys. I did get in my new phone, but I got my uh, Case Defy case now it's, i used to have skinny dip with my iphone 10 but now i have the 11 pro max obviously this is a highly sponsored kind of product right uh, but i bought it it's quite pricey but do you know what it's so worth it i've actually dropped my phone's phone a few times and it hasn't damaged my phone so it's doing its job and i always always have like a pop socket because this phone is actually heavy <laughs> um and it's quite big so yeah i really love it it looks so nice and i also personalized it and i wrote be kind this is like my motto in life so yeah i really wanted to share this with you guys because i've i just love it i mean it's always in my hands anyways but it does the job well it's super nice super sturdy very luxe like it's nice you know just a couple of um netflix shows that i've been really into i've been really into crown although some bits can be boring but i'm on season four 
and I've just genuinely enjoyed watching the show. I'm also starting to get into Virgin River season two because I really enjoyed um, season one. It's one of those easy watches. It's really nice, basically. And honestly, I, this is not a favorite, but like I'm so excited to watch Crudes 2, the Crudes 2. It's like a um, kids, it's like an animation film, but honestly, guys, I can't wait for that film to come out. Okay, so now let's move on to some of the flops that I've had. Um, the first one is the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume. This was recently sent to me, but it does nothing for my lashes. I mean, I don't know what it is, but it literally did not do anything. This is what it looks like, and it has a big brush. When I saw the brush, I was like, oh, this has potential, but it just slides through my lashes and just didn't work for me unfortunately. Now there's a lot of products from Laura Mercier that I love right uh, especially my translucent setting powder but yeah I, I do I do love the brand but this product just didn't work for me. Another brand that I really love but this specific product just was a disaster when I put it on in one of my videos and that's the Origins Ginseng SPF 40. This goes so ashy on my skin. It just leaves a white cast. Now I can wear it under makeup, but on its own, what it's supposed to be a tinted moisturizer. Like I could not use this as a tinted moisturizer. Um, it smells amazing and it feels amazing, but it's a shame that it has that cast, overcast, like that white cast. But I love Origins moisturizers. I actually bought a few for like, my most favorite is the Ultra Rich Make a Difference Cream and there's Thirst Quench Mask. There's so many products that I've used for years from Origins because I used to work from, on Bobbi Brown and there was an Origins account right next to us and we would try everything. Um, I never went to buy this because I could see a little bit of a tint on my hand when I would swatch this, but because this was sent to me, I actually gave it a go on my face and it just did not work out. The Origins team was actually really nice because they saw the video and they sent me a bunch of other products and products that I'm actually really getting along with but I have to give them more time because I just started using them but there's a lot of Origins products that I've mentioned in my videos before that I absolutely love. And the next two items were actually in a recent video but that is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder and It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye like this to not work out for me at all. I haven't seen a product not work out like this before on my skin. I don't know and I paid a lot of money for these guys but this just stuck to my skin. Like I couldn't even brush it off. It was so bad. Not a big fan of this. All right, so those are all my current favorites that I felt like I needed to mention to you guys. Um, and some products, of course, that didn't work for me. That happens a lot, but I just don't really share them. I just put them to the side. Um, so if you guys want to see more videos like this where I do include some flops, then let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the link to download Shoptega in the info box. And thanks so much for watching guys. Let me know a product that really stood out to you recently that you've been loving lately in the comments as well. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. It really helps me out guys. Love you lots and I will see you in my next video. Bye.